I know. The wedding. That's right. And usually they say it's always the bride that decides, you know, what they like, where they go. <laughs> so they must, he must participate. This is true. <laughs> yeah, but at least he should show uh, interest and participation. Right. Now, is it the question also of this young lady who is so anxious because the family's here. She's the only one left in the Philippines. She wants to know whether the presence of the fiancé is important. Do you think it is a good idea for her to convince the fiancé, come to the Philippines so you can join me in the interview? Look, uh, uh, the more times this guy visited her in the Philippines, the better it is. Ah, okay. If he, if he, if he, if he, look, such a procedure, Probably from the day they start, they met each other until the day of the interview, uh, it takes some time, starting mm -hmm. one day. So if he visited her one time only, this is uh, legally enough. But it's better if he visited her more than one time, two times, three times. Yes. Okay. Uh, and now, uh, if he comes now for the for the time, for the interview, also good. Mm. Okay, uh, uh, but uh, he may not be uh, permitted to enter the interview. I see. But at least she she will have proof that he is here in the Philippines, uh -huh. and standing there and and jumping from one from one foot to the other foot, uh, waiting <laughs> for her. Now another question, because they're so excited about the Dory getting married. Now, will they be able to invite uh, some guests who are out of the country, and will they be given? a visa to come and attend the wedding? Maybe yes, maybe not. It depends if oh. they are con able to convince the consul that they will go back. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have uh, previous uh, travel to the United States, will that be a negative factor? Uh, not always, because some people some people get a visitor's visa for the first time without mm -hmm. any history. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But it depends what they show about their future. Mm -hmm. will, they, will, will they return to the Philippines or not? Mm -hmm. So is a financial uh, document, meaning to say showing that they have, you know, like a good savings account, bank account, properties, etc. Those are good documents yeah, to they, prove? They, 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 need to show, they need to show ties to the Philippines. Uh-huh, I see. I guess because they they will be inviting the god parents who are well they're well off and but they have not really left the Philippines as I understand but would like to come and attend the wedding because they'll be the god parents expanding on this fiance visa turning on what faces our lady when she gets to the United States she has to get married within the 90 day period and then is there another interview coming up as husband and wife after the, after she gets married within 90 days, she needs uh, with her husband to file an application for adjustment of status. Uh, no petition is necessary, but an application, a form I-485 for adjustment of status mm -hmm. with an affidavit of support by the husband. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh... Will she be given a work visa so she can also work temporarily? Uh, she, she will be she uh, she will be given a work permit like everybody else. Uh huh. And of course, they have to stay married, and I'm sure they will because I think they're very happily. Uh, actually, uh, they're very convinced about their relationship. What are the do's and don'ts in terms of the fiance visa, Tony Golan? Just to be truthful, correct? Just show the documents and then show that everything is in order. And if you tell the truth, then, you know, everything will be so much easier. Now, do they have to live together immediately uh, when she gets uh, for a fiancé visa? She intends to stay first with her parents until they get married. They don't have to live together until they get married. I see. Okay. So, but then when they get married, they have to stay in the same place, in the same, uh, because the parents live in another well, state uh, and the husband stays in another place. You know how close they are? <laughs> they would like to be with the family. Well, you know, uh, it already begins to sound like a big problem. Oh. If 
exactly. Don't live together. If people get married and don't live together, it is a problem. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is a problem. I see. have no illusions. It mm. is a problem. So because the parents, according, I had a long conversation with this lady. According to her, the parents, because she's the only daughter, the parents are planning to probably move to the state where they will be living so they'll be close to their daughter. So that means it is really that better decision for the parents to go to where the husband is working uh, instead of... Well, they can also go to the other state, right? As long as she is with the husband. Are we, they can do whatever they like as long as they live together. I see. Okay, and what the, and what the parents do is completely irrelevant. I see. As long as they're together wherever they are. Now, uh, can they go on vacation to the Philippines? Well, you know, if they had just gotten married, can they go home to the Philippines for, you know, their, their honeymoon? I thought that they, at, at, le at least the woman had had enough of the Philippines. So at least, uh, <laughs> but the husband is so anxious also to go to the islands. <laughs> that will be a gift, I think, by the godparents because the godparents have a big resort. <laughs> okay, they could, they could. She would, when she makes the application for adjustment of status, uh -huh. she, 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 she can get a, a, an advance parole. Oh, I see. It will permit her to travel back and forth. I see. Well, I guess they just, you know, they can always uh, wait, you know, until that uh, time comes. 